Hey YouTube, what's up? Holy Witch here. So now we're going to do a honey jar for a married couple. And I've already done my um, incantation and um, wrote all my good stuff down here, my petition down, and we are now going to put him in the honey jar. to hear me do any incantation on this one because I did it before I started the video because I had to say some specific private things. Um, basically I was telling him to love and respect and, and these things his wife and um, to be sweet to her kind and sweet and all kinds of things that she specifically asked for. Oh, I like it. Okay, now I'm going to fold it this way and this Love her, you will treat her with respect. She will be the she is the most important person in your life, in your world, and you will treat her as such. You will be sweet and kind and loving and respectful. It's not my silly fate. It's not a command that you treat her with respect. Okay. And pour some sugar. Some of my love herbs in there. And then we are going to go ahead and pour some of this in there because why not? It's a honey jar and there is honey in this along with a million other things. Just gorgeous. Oh, and this has dominance don't stuff to um to dominate to. And we're gonna put a little manifestation oil on the candle. Cherish her, treat her with respect at all times. You will treat her like she's the most important person in your life because she is the most important person in your life. You will comply with her, you will love her, you will be sweet to her, be kind, that your words will forever be kind, that you will sweep her off her feet again and make her love you again. Like she used to. You will be kind and sweet. Bring her flowers. 
say nice, sweet things to her. You will be so kind and nice and thoughtful and caring that she will be surprised. So let it be. Wait. Some Hecate's oil. Here we go. I'm gonna carve names in here now. I'm using a pink candle because pink is sweet and passionate and loving and then tomorrow's candle I'll use a red candle for tomorrow and then on the third day I'll use purple sweetness in this guy. How about that? We're going to go ahead and put love herbs on him. Because why not? That's why, huh? Well, gosh darn it, my towels disappeared. <laughs> okay, you guys, next we're going to do a booster, a prosperity booster, um, because one of the boosters I did, um, she's got some interviews coming up, and so she wants to do a booster. And, um... I got a, oh, um, one of the spells that I did last week, one of the breakup spells has already worked and he called today and said that, that they were broke up and so now I need to do a booster for that because we did, we did it kind of backwards on accident and um, the night that I did the comeback love, um, he got back with, with another girl. 
And so I was like, shit. So then we had to do a breakup. So now they're broke up. We just did that one last week. And so they broke up. And so now I'm just going to do a booster on the love spell that I did, a, you know, a few days before I did that one. So that's exciting that that happened. And, um,. I think it was the one-sided one I did where I didn't, what's it? I don't remember. I'll have to go read the names over there. I know which one, which bottle's hers because um, it all went to one side and dripped all down just on her side and then his side was clear. And so I know which one it was. So it had to have been that one then. Where I didn't put his picture in there, but I did put his name in there and birth date. And then I put him on the back side of her picture. And um, and then I did the chicken foot on her. And then I just left him in there separate away from her. And, um, and it worked beautifully. So, um... But yeah, and then when I did, when I burned the candle, it all went down on her side, remember? Um, I don't know if you guys remember it or not, but I do. I remember it. Anyways, it's working. It worked. They were broken up. So now I'm going to do a booster for her. Um, love spell that we already did. Um, I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Even though tomorrow's supposed to be my day off. But because I'm going to take off all of next weekend after this weekend then the next weekend I'm going to take all of that whole weekend off so um, I'm just going to work straight through and that way I could be caught up on everybody and um, we don't get behind on anything I don't want to I don't like to make everyone wait I don't like I don't like that I don't like knowing that I have work that's late. I don't, I like to get it done within a week. You know, within that week that I get it, I like it to be done. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I have to wait for a certain herb or something happens and I have to push it to the next, the next curse day or love day or divination day or whatever. Um, and if it's divination, I could pretty much do it you know, any time except for like, I don't like to do divination work on curse days because that takes so much of my energy. And so, um, I try to just not, not do it on divination days or curse days, not do divination on curse days. Anyways, I'm just rambling on here. So I'm going to go put this over on the altar. It's just chilling. And, um, everything looks good. Looks like a tooth candle looking back there. Um, I dressed one, a candle for her so she would like it. And she is giving me wax drippings, um, on the right side. The front right, which is good. And there's more to come. More to come. I'm so excited, you guys, about this um, fertility spell. And the frog right. Well, it's called the toad right, I believe. I think it's called the toad right. You can use a frog or a toad. It doesn't matter. But um, I'm pretty happy. I'm excited. And she told me it's almost time, so I'm expecting it any day to find it out there. It'll be, I'll just like walk up and there it will be. And that's just how she does things. Um, she has no problem manifesting things like animals. Um, like I said before, she's, she's popped birds in my room, like in my bedroom. Like I'm waking up and there's a bird flying around my room scare the shit out of me. <laughs> it's all... Okay then. How did you get in here? 
Yes, she's done that three times. All right, then I'm getting off of here. I'm going to go put this up on the altar and I will be back in a few minutes for a prosperity booster. And I'm going to be putting that in the manifestation circle on the manifestation altar. Okay. All right. Peace out, you guys.